In this video we're going to take a look at medicine balls and specifically the work that we can do with them. The transference and the relevance to the long jump and the triple jump and sprints. Initially we're going to look at sprint drills and stability movements and then I'm going to give you an explanation as to the real relevance the transference for medicine ball work to jumping and sprinting. This is the second phase of this type of training. We did one prior to Christmas in the November period, the block before the indoor season. We're doing another block prior to the outdoor season. The objective being to increase force return, vertical velocity, eccentric ability and to provide a background of specific ground contact times and movements that we can further transfer into more specific movements. This phase is also integrating other eccentric elements drills and plyometric jump movements to further develop this quality and again I'll say more about that in another video. Well with some of the drills when you cradle the ball in front of your chest or hold it at arm's length there's going to be more force coming down into the ground contact due to the positioning of the ball. Additionally when you perform a plyometric exercise again there's going to be a greater overload on the contact the stretch before the recoil and the concentric reflex. On screen now you're taking a look at a couple of the basic drills that we do and then some of the sprint drills as I've alluded to. Now the relevance to jumping and sprinting and here you can see Courier performing a medicine ball throw. Now compare that to her bounding positions and you can see a similarity I found that this particular work is working with Kuria in particular in terms of improving her ability to express vertical velocity and this is transferring into her triple jump and literally she's improving week by week gaining greater distance on the phases and looking more powerful. And here we have Lee performing what I call a sprinter press and again when you compare the positions that are being achieved with the medicine ball drill and those for the long jump takeoff you can see similarities. It is very important to emphasize specifically what you as a jumper needs and your event needs. Don't waste your time training for general fitness and even less specific fitness. At this time of the year it's all about improving your ability to express jumping power and increasing your sprinting speed. So you need to keep those objectives in mind. As I said at the beginning in the second part of the video we're going to look at plyometric medicine ball options in more detail and some more eccentric orientated training means too. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video or indeed any of my others then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And as you may have seen in some of my other videos we've been putting the Antipes Muscle Runner training shoes to the test so here's some initial thoughts and comments. They just put me in a really nice position it makes me be able to run for once. Just been wearing the Muscle Runners around the house just trying to get used to them and you really do notice the throw of the shoe to the forefoot and the work that the calf muscles are doing just to support your weight when walking so I think they're going to be really good for sprinting but they are going to have you high up on your forefoot but I do recommend as well that you take some time getting used to wearing them perhaps doing lower intensity drills and work and indeed just wearing them around the house so that your feet and your lower leg muscles in particular calves and Achilles soft tissue does get used to the actual throw of the shoe. 